Welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for joining us once again, listening or watching, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. Sorry, I had to jump out of frame there. My chair, I realized, was not where it should have been. But I'm back. <laughs> hey, welcome. <laughs> this is going to be the, the sister episode to the last episode where we talk about Battle Bond. Here we're going to go a little bit more in depth with some of the uh, greater implications for magic. Right, how Battle Bond affects other formats, how it affects other kinds of play. Uh, before we get into everything, we do want to mention this episode, as well as all of our episodes, are sponsored by Cardsphere.com. You can check their link out in the description. If you are interested in buying or selling cards, you can do it there. It's a great place to do it. Yeah. So, uh, the schedule for today is we're going to kick off with our random card of the day. We are going to talk about Battle Bond uh, and specifically how it relates to other formats. We have our question of the week, which we will not be able to go over the latest question of the week because we are pre-recording this like a week and a half in advance. <laughs> uh, right. So we're just going to re-ask it. Yes. Ask it again. We'll ask it again. Uh, and then, of we'll course, we have our crack of packs with our goal cards, which yeah. hopefully one of us will get one because the last time it took forever. It kind of, yeah, it You did. still owe me a pie in the face. If if you get yours, does that nullify my pie? Are no, we back that to means pie we both one? get to pie each other. Can we just do a pie war? Leave a comment down below if you're interested in seeing a pie war. <laughs> we keep teasing them with pie. We're we really gonna, do. You know, we're gonna we're just gonna to. buy a pie and eat it on camera. And then you guys the just pie have to watch episode. it. That's <laughs> what we'll do for episode 314. Wait, weren't wasn't our question of the week gonna be related to episode 100? Yeah, but we have to ask it in two weeks. Because, okay. you know, we I can't gloss over the battle bond question. I keep almost saying Battleborn. We can talk about both of them in the next... We'll make it happen. All right, random card of the day in three, right. two, one. This is a new card for me. Yeah, I've, I've not, not seen, seen this, this card before. Ever in my life. Oh, no, I have. It's from Guild Pact. Okay, this is Silhana Starfletcher. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. It yeah. is a 1-3 Elf Druid Archer for two and a green. Uh, right. Like you mentioned, from Guild Pact. As it comes into play, choose a color... Tap it to add one mana of the chosen color to your mana pool. It can block as though it had flying. Um, thoughts? Why not just give it reach? Yeah, that... Yeah. At this point, I could, I could forgive it. <laughs> I could forgive it if this was beta. If this was... Mm, no. If this was a 7th edition past, sure. I could forgive it. This is guilt past. <laughs> They did this with a couple of other cards. Can block as though it had fought. Yeah, they did it with the... All right. The elf that's in Popper... Re in Return Boggles. to Ravnica? No. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, go the, ahead. The elf that's in Popper Boggles? Yeah. Talking about the Hexproof one? It's not Hexproof. That's Glade Cover Scout. It's right. the one that has, like, pseudo... Flying, hexproof. right? Something like that, yeah. It's not specifically there's a, flying. There's a card that got printed in Return to Ravnica that says it's a green card it says this creature can only be blocked by creatures with reach or flying <laughs> and i'm like so it all right i get flying? that you don't want to get green <laughs> flying but you what <laughs> what does so it do stupid so why kevin help me understand why it's worded this way i don't know i don't know that's just stupid let's evaluate it for real minus the terrible wording uh, three drop, one three. It is a mana dork. Mana dorks on three, though, just feel bad, right? Definitely. They don't, yeah. Like, it does fix you. That's important, because if you are drafting it, which and this is a thing. multicolored thing, yeah. um, then it does fix you, which is good. Yeah. I think that kind of makes it worthwhile if you're in a multicolored deck, which you will be if you're in this set. Um, it's just, it's so, like, almost good, I feel like. Yeah, I wish it was, I wish it came in a two. Yeah, if it was a two drop, okay. it'd be pretty I good, I think. Um, or a two three. Just give it a little more power so it can trade off with something. Yeah, I think I'd a two okay three. Is it almost too good? No, I don't think so, because it's not going to be able to swing in very often. And you're not, you're not going to use it to swing in most of the time. It's going to end up chump blocking or trading. That's fair. You know what I mean? Because it's a mana dork, right? You're just using it to fix yourself. Yeah. I think 2-3 would have been okay. The art's interesting-ish. Um, Just give him reach, man. 
I don't know. Where do you sit? Where do you feel like? I'm ultimately underwhelmed, honestly. Oh, that's fair. But um, I was excited at first because it has three lines of text, and usually that's like, oh, cool, lots of stuff, <laughs> and then not really. They could have uh, made one a keyword. <laughs> as <laughs> and uh, this doesn't do anything. As Sahana Star Fletcher comes into play, temper your expectations. <laughs> uh, <laughs> add one mana of the chosen color to be mana pool. Like that will do anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not that exciting. Um, Sorry, guys. I could see it in draft. There are places for it, maybe in sealed, but like that's it. There is no other place. Hold on. Yeah. Man. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. go to Battle Bond, guys. Cool. Um, so like we said, we're going to be talking about some of the reprints first uh, and why they're in here, hopefully where we'll see them, and just the importance of them because some of them are actually really, really important. Kicking us off with Doubling Season. Cool. So Doubling Season, we've been begging for a reprint for, as we said in the last episode, we've been begging for it for a long time. Uh, as a community, it was a card that was like $60, 60 I think it, to $70. Yeah. Dollars. Some ridiculous amount. Like, yeah. it's a good card. It's not $60, $70. Um, it, it does bust Commander open. Just yeah. wide open. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, but that being said, it is such a good card. It is broken. Yeah. I, I want I wanted, Let me circle back to that. It is a broken card. It is, it is super good. <laughs> like, oh my god. Poison? Infect effects? Poison, yeah, Infect is where it gets oh my really God. crazy. But Super Friends decks, you get to ult right away. Yeah, Proliferate, like Doublings, oh my God. The Jace this from... This in Atraxa? Ugh. The Jace from, Stop. was it Ixalan that doubles itself? You can go infinite? Yeah, if you, if you have Doubling Season, right? If you have Doubling Season, what, you can Is go that infinite. what we figured out? Because we yeah, thought for so. a while. I think so. I think we determined that you could. Not that it happens very often. Because no. you, like, you'd have to have doubling season then to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's right. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's interesting, though, about this, like, obviously they could not print it in a standard set, so it makes sense that it is in a special set. Did you just spill it? <laughs> nope. You're so messy. Um, but I think this is an interesting place for it because it doesn't... I feel like it doesn't do that much in this set. No. It definitely does. At all. A bunch I of stuff. I don't think so. Support. I mean, it's support, but Support's it's like, on everywhere. turn five, you want to be doing a little bit more. Support like, you everything have... and make them giant. That's what I'm doing on turn five. I don't know. It just doesn't seem that great. It's awesome think. in this set. I don't know. Bramble Sovereign? With doubling season? That's really good. All right. <laughs> those, you're, you're banking on what? Two, what? Da, 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 two mythics at that point? I'm just saying. Like, you know what I mean? But... Yes, there are things that are good support with it, too? but on turn five, I'd rather you like put to something for four? like I'd rather put a creature out or something like that because it's limited, right? This makes all your creatures excellent. Not right away. You have to wait. A if turn. any of them have support, you have to wait a turn. I don't. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna. Fertile doubling season. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Feral Hydra doubling season. I know that there is a support theme in this not I'm only is saying. there a theme that's one of like the draftable themes yes that's yes. that's one of the um prove me wrong that's fine i'll do it all right just hold on to your booty <laughs> uh it's one of the <laughs> i'm super glad you grabbed your butt i, I didn't grab my butt what did you grab <laughs> nerve damage um <laughs> sorry it's one of the uh draft archetypes yeah i mean it is Whatever definitely yeah Whatever I want is to it green it. white? I assume. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which seems to be. Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, okay, Dublin's, I get that it's good in that deck. It I'm is just a, saying that like. No, it's a monster always. I don't know that it's as good as you think it is. Okay, in limited, it's at, at its weakest. Yeah, definitely yes. But Which this set is limited. Card. Yes, but it's still godly strong. I'm not saying you take it like. I mean, you take it, pick one. For value, but for value, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's right. Am I am I wrong about no, that? No, I'd probably do. do. <laughs> I mean, I'm a poor kid. I could use some doubling seasons in my life. Yeah, no. Plus, there there are so many tokens. Here. There are a lot of tokens. You get mirror artifacts. You get spirits. You get warriors, recruiters. Mm. Uh, what are they? Sapperlings. You yeah. get a bunch of stuff in this in this set, the doubling season lives. I'm just Plus so much stuff has support. Three two colors 
Two colors have support. And Green, it's, white. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, I'm telling you, you take it. When we play it, you can convince me. That yeah, if, if, yeah. That's fair. I, if, it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm saying it will be good, but not amazing. That's my stance on it right now. If if you make a green white, like support or token kind mm -hmm. of deck in this, it, it's viable without doubling season. But with doubling season, forget about it. All right, forget Fair about enough. it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Forget about it. Forget about it. Fajita, fajitas and G. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's amazing. All um, right, let's talk about this card then. Cool, cool. Sorry. Uh, right, they couldn't print doubling season for standard oh, yeah, yeah. because it would mess up standard. Yeah, just absolutely egregiously. mess up standard egregiously. Um, though a lot of people are probably going to be a little bit tilted because they're going back to Ravnica, and they're like, "Hey, this would have been great because doubling season was originally printed in Ravnica, but like it just no, it would not have been mm -hmm. a good idea." So it's good that they put it where they put it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have liked it in standard. It no. makes. Because the green-white token deck, even the Sapperling token deck, is mean. Yeah. It's green-black? Yeah. It, Usually. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, it depends, I guess. But yeah, it, I believe it was. It's mean. Green-white so. was tokens in return. We're mumbling. I'm, talking about, this, I'm talking about the Sapperling one specifically, though. Yeah, yeah. That was not... It's that was green-black. Green. Black. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, Arena Rector Sorry. is another card that we wanted to talk about. This is an interesting one. It's three and a white for a 1-2 human cleric. When it dies, you exile it, and you can search your library for a Planeswalker card and put it directly onto the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Um, this card's sweet. It sucks in this set. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that the show. Uh, Kevin, how many walkers can this tutor up for you? Uh, two. Kevin, are either one of them that good? No, not really. <laughs> are they good? Mm, are they fine? They're fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you They're not that. very good. Um, no. This is very much a card for Commander, like, 100%. Like, there's yeah. no way around it. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to hit any other, for, like, Legacy or anything, because it's just too expensive. But, right. like, I don't, yeah. the effect is beyond powerful. That is huge. Oh, yes. Um, and you can you can find ways to make it happen in the best possible moment for you with instant speed. Uh, what I was it? Sorcery. Is, is it sorcery. Is it sorcery? Oh, I'm going to yeah. be so mad. Can't oh, you're right. Sorcery. Diabolic Intent. Um, so in this set, Diabolic Intent is a card for one and a black. It's a sorcery speed. You sacrifice a creature when you cast it, but you get to search your library for any card and put it in your hand. <laughs> so it's sort of like Demonic Tutor, but a little bit worse. But with Arena Rector, it's actually maybe a little better. <laughs> like... Oh, definitely is. Uh, yeah. Um, Here, go ahead and put... You know what would be great? Because I'm picturing this in the Atraxa deck. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, you need to kill something real fast. <laughs> Bam, I just got Varaska. Block target permanent. Uh, also, thank you, Liliana of the Veil. Welcome to my hand. Nicol Bolas. Or the... Oh, my God. <laughs> or, even better, to oh. Bull. <laughs> I can't touch that one. Oh, okay. All although, right, yeah. although, although, you can't. No, no, no. We, this you can't play this with nickel bolus, really. No, not really. <laughs> you have to play a uh, a prism deck. You have to play yeah. five colors. Yeah. Um, I guess you in dragons. You can play four, right? Excuse me. You can play four color. You don't need blue. Uh, yeah, you need. You don't need green. That is true. We can do four color. But the best planeswalker commander deck has green in it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, it's a trap. So by the way, kids. Most Which anytime they're... someone's like, "Hey, what's the best commander deck?" You should probably just default to Atraxa. Honestly, because it fits a lot of different archetypes. Well, really, th out. really three. One's real bad, and two are awesome. Yeah, plus one, plus one counters, real bad. Yeah, but Infect is insane. And, Infect and Super, uh, friends. Super Friends, yeah, is insane. Delicious. God, so good. Speaking of which, you can watch Park streaming that. Uh, we have videos of him on the internet. All right. Elaborate that a little bit more. Uh, on our YouTube channel, we've got recorded episodes of Parks having streamed Attraxa Super Friends. Um, um, not, and... not we have videos of him. <laughs> <laughs> I speak good. Um, <laughs> all right. The next card I wanted to mention, True Name Nemesis. We kind of mentioned this last time, but just briefly. Um, it's a bonkers card that is like oh, yeah. just in every good blue mid-range deck in Legacy. Mm -hmm. um, it has protection from a player of your choice. Right. 
Now, so. <laughs> in Battle Bond specifically, it's at its weakest. Because yes. there are two players that you're facing. Yes. Um, I didn't think that about that, but that's said. actually a good way to justify putting this in a set. Right. I didn't think of that. That's solid. But that being said, it's still Oh, it's still excellent. super good. Half of their team's stuff doesn't matter. Yeah. To True Name Nemesis, that is. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's still a fantastic card. I, That's probably pack one, pick one if you see it, right? Uh, most likely. I mean, it depends what's in the the rest of this. Like, but very likely. I can't this think is of. I can't really think of another card that would be in not the same pack. Not that it's like uncommon. Down, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah. Um, no, I'm with you on that. Um, land tax. Yeah, land tax is. Again, I think this is great for commander. This was like yeah. a twenty thirty dollar card, kind of unnecessarily. Yeah, it's, it really doesn't. It's me. really good, but <laughs> letting players do this doesn't like break the game in any way hmm. so that doesn't didn't justify the price to me so getting a reprint i think is cool yeah um i also really like the art the art's really pretty you know it is actually i wasn't sold on it at first um i generally like og dude. art better but this is just really pretty i dig it dude it's so nice um some of the art in this set i'm not a fan of i mentioned that last episode some of it i really like but it's yeah. mm, i'm kind of on the fence about it i really um, like the art mystic confluence uh, Commander? Staple? In a blue control deck? Yeah, I don't know it's how... It's not that amazing, but it's really strong. Like, no. it's just a really good catch-all card. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, and yeah, and that's the thing. And in, in Commander, you're going to want the different modes at different times. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. The variety is nice. It's yeah. a great one. I need um, the confluences, really, I'll say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Seaboard Muse, Ooh. so good. Commander staple in most green decks. Mm -hmm. uh, it says you can untap all permanents you control during each other player's untap step. Yeah, that's um, awesome. There's a if card. You didn't know. Yeah. Vidalkin Ori gives all of your stuff flash. And so that with Seaboard Muse is kind of just broken because you can start playing stuff on everybody else's turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's that's really sweet. Gross. Yeah, it's it's kind of dirty. Um, some of the lower tiered cards, and by tiered I mean rarity. Uh, Chain Lightning is really really good in Legacy um, Mono Red, just burn decks. Mm -hmm. It's really really strong. Same with Swords to Plowshares. It's great removal in Legacy and Vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, Beast Within is good removal, kind of a catch all removal spell for Modern. Yeah. Um, it's not amazing, but the fact that it hits basically any permanent is sweet. Well, and it is any permanent. It is any permanent. Um, and that's why I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It it's kills solid. what you needed to kill. Super, super good. Usually. Uh, a much needed reprint in the way of Spell Snare. Yeah. We've been begging for this one too, along with doubling season. Um, this is like 10, 15 bucks, or was. Yeah. It's like, it's an uncommon. Like, that's ridiculous. So to finally have it reprinted is great. Mm -hmm. um, I do think... I, I don't know. This should have been way earlier, in my opinion. But it could have been the last master set. Easy. Yeah, Easy. definitely could have been. Feral um, Hydra comes in. We talked about it last episode. Oh yeah, it's really good for limited. Really, really, really good for limited. Yes, so. absolutely. It scales. Yeah, super well. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? What else? Not too much, honestly. Nothing else that's in the way of reprints. That is really amazing. That's a big deal, right? Yeah, yeah. Dagger um, Drum Imp. Just kidding. <laughs> Even though it's reprint. Centaur Healer. No. Um, oh, these two. Uh, oh, duh. So Mind's Eye, I'm actually really stoked about because I don't have yes. any. This card's really good. So it is a five drop artifact. When an opponent draws a card, you can pay one. And if you do, you get to draw a card. It's great. Um, yeah, it's fantastic in Commander. This set is really basically just throwing bones to Commander, right? Like that's I think in a lot of doing. ways. Because this is Rhystic Study for anybody, just yeah. a little worse. Um, Rhystic Study is obviously just far superior. Yeah, 100%. Um, but but side, this goes in any color deck, that's and that's the key. Is anybody can play it, so that's great. Uh, Mycosynth Lattice. You can do a lot of tricky stuff with this. Mm -hmm. um, it's a combo card, right? Like, yeah, 100%. There's ease with other, other things. So mm -hmm. I don't know what the price was for Mycosynth Lattice before. The, I don't know It's either. not technically printed yet, but I don't know what it's... What it's at right now? I guess we could look it up, man. Why do we bother saying I don't know stuff when I don't we, know, have man. we have the in internet in our pockets? We are literally on the internet, and we decide not to use it. Um, yeah, it's definitely an interesting card, though. It isn't mythic this time. 
and mm -hmm. I, I believe it was just rare before. So, I don't want to do that. I don't trust that website. <laughs> what I'm website? Not, I'm not going to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so it's about a, <clears throat> excuse me, a $25 card now. Gotcha. Um, at its peak, when Battle for Zendikar released, interestingly enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you doing, phone? Calm down. Phone. 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 You're being ridiculous. Uh, I want to go to its... Give me a, give me a break, Kit Kat Bar. <laughs> I'm really trying my hardest here, Kev. Will's pretty tired today. I way. am, and my phone's just being a little stinker. Yeah. It was really expensive at one point. <laughs> um, and I'm not 100%. I'm not sure why. This is a card I've always heard. Yeah, I've never played with it, so I don't know. Um, Sorry, we didn't do all her work. Uh, two cards I forgot about. Core Spirit Dancer is finally getting a reprint. Right. That card's not that good. Um, It's not. I have a playset. They're like... 50 cents. May, may, um, we'll Core Spirit Dancer is finally getting a reprint, yeah. which is very much needed. Uh, Boggles and Modern loves this card. Yeah. It's fantastic there. It's just kind of an engine. Um, so super happy to see that. Tides about Tyrant is a combo piece. Um, I believe in Food Chain, Legacy Food Chain, but I could be wrong. Uh, but it is a combo piece. It's like decent anyway and limited. It's not amazing, but it's good. I think it's great and limited. You think it is great? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's fine, right? Even though I don't feel like Control's really strong in this set no, on its own, at all. I still think it's awesome. Right? It's just a little expensive, that's all. Like, no, that's your bomb. That's your bomb. Oh, it's it's a 5-5 five, five flyer that bounces stuff. That's your bomb. That that's wins fair. you the game. I mean, it's good. Um, you want to talk about this? Yeah. In Commander, are you kidding me? Oh, in Commander, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's not in need of a reprint. You can pick these. Oh, no. Super gotcha. Cheap. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> we're talking about Magus, yeah. Magus of the Candelabra. Um, <laughs> was it in need of a reprint? No. Not even a Is little. Is it a game-breaking <laughs> card? No. Can you do a lot of dumb stuff with it? Yes. Yeah. You can do a lot of fun things. You can add bunches of mana. It's uh, pretty sweet. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's a decent card. It's not, like, game-breaking, I don't think. I mean, it definitely adds a lot of mana. There. No, you just get to do silly stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, do we want to move on to, like, any of the new cards that are going to be in Commander that we think will be in Commander? Did you have any in mind? Um, I actually kind of... I think, weirdly, the Toothy and Kin... What's his name? Peer. Uh, Peer? Is it Peer? Peer. It? Yeah. Uh, oddly, I think that is, like, the best one... I kind of agree for Commander, just yeah. because it's so cheap to do, and you'll be drawing a bunch of cards. Right. Toothy's going to get massive. Yes. Um, especially in, I mean, your blue-green decks have card draw for days and yeah, a lot of tricky absolutely. ways to do it. So you're going to get a lot of value there. Um, just as kind of a, you could, you could argue, yeah, you need two cards to make it really, really mm. good, but even if you just put Toothy in there, I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, because he's going to be... There are plenty of answers, but he's going to be a scary card eventually, and he yeah. just gets you more value for doing the stuff you want to do. Um, so weirdly, I think he's going to be pretty good for Commander. I think Play of the Game is an interesting card. Um, God. So this card is 6 and 2 white. Exile all non-land permanents, but it has assist. And I don't know... I mean, I guess you can just politic your way into getting people to help you play this. Um, I mean, if there's like oh clearly a singular winner going on in the game, you could just be like, hey, you guys, do you want to help me play this spell that exiles every freaking thing? And they're like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And so it just does. Like, I mean, that's going to be, I think, an interesting card for white decks for sure. Uh, um, I hadn't read that card. Yeah, it's really sweet. <laughs> um, I don't know how assist works in Commander. I guess it's the same way, though. It's absolutely the same. Um, Any player may play. That's why it's worded that way. I mean, that makes sense. Instead of like your team, but like you have this. to reveal the card to somebody else to be like, "Hey, will you help me play this?" You know what I mean? Because you can't start tapping lands and be like, "Oh, by the way, I need help playing this." Card. You oh know what no, I mean? wait, that's a good point. Like so, that's what I'm worried about. Technically, due to the legality, you can't just reveal cards from your hand, right? I don't know. I guess not. I don't think so. I don't think you should be able to. But... Judge, judge. We are not that. Um, <laughs> um, I don't actually know. I'm not sure how that works. We'll look into that because that's interesting. That's, I hadn't thought of that. Also, um, 
But I do like that card. <laughs> it's really sweet. Interesting. It's such a catch-all in the best Oh, I mean... Do you what? Oh, for Commander. This is reprint, yeah. though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, Mangara oh, we're talking about new Corondor. Though. Sorry. Corondor. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for 3 that you can tap and exile it and another target permanent. So it's just blink effect, but a theoretically infinite number. Um, no, just just one. No, but I'm saying you blink it and then... Oh, it just exiles it. I'm yeah. sorry. I incorrectly read it. It basically is... Um, oh, God. Chou it's Chounsu. Oh, God, it is. Right? If any of you understand <laughs> that. <laughs> it's totally Chounsu. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Vegeta, this is probably copyrighted. <laughs> That's not the line. But anyway. <laughs> I hate when they use self-destruct. Okay. Oh, Mo I hate it when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> this is a, an interesting episode. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm not sure how a lot of these, like, uh, partner with guards are going to work out in Commander. Mm -hmm. We do want to talk about uh, just the Planeswalkers briefly. Mm -hmm. We don't think they're going to be very good. No. And that's all we really needed to say. <laughs> right. Don't play them in Commander. They're not very good, I don't so, think, at all. No. You can play them as your Commander. There's text on there, yes, that says that. Uh, however, <laughs> they're pretty bad. Um, yeah. In terms of, like, Commander, because their ceiling is you get to copy a thing that you do once. Yeah. Which can be good, but there are a lot of spells that do it way cheaper and easier. Yes. Like Ricochet, for instance. Yeah. Even. Um, yeah, they're just not, they don't do enough. They're not that exciting. They had um, to be balanced for this <laughs> set. Makes perfect sense. Because <laughs> um, you will open both, we mentioned this last time. Right. You will open both of them in the same pack because they are partnered with right. each other. Right. Um, and so, yeah, they couldn't make them too strong. That would just be insane. Yeah, that'd be mean. Um, uh, but yeah, they are not going to be that great. I think they'd be fine. Like, I think you can put Will in the Super Friends deck just because. Put you in the Super Friends deck. Yeah, I'm a Super Friend. <laughs> right? Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I just don't think they're very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, Bramble Sovereign, do you think? Oh, yeah, this card's sweet in green tokens. Do you think Commander? Yeah, I think you play it. I mean, at worst, it's a four drop for it's a four four for four with upside. So like, it's always oh, going to yeah. be good. Um, basically, this card says whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, you can pay one and a green, and mm -hmm. if you do, that creature's controller creates a copy of that creature. So you can actually use it on other people if you'd like to. Not that you ever should, but if you're in a position where like you guys are trying to team up against somebody. You know, um, I was trying to think of when you'd want to do that. <clears throat> like Politics. If, I mean, yeah. All. If they play one of those cards, it's like, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose uh, six life, or like you have to sack a creature. Yeah. If you can't, do... Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The demons. Yeah, there's a bunch of demons. Um, <laughs> demons are messed up little things. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to make a demon deck, but they're, <laughs> they're always... They're so not very good. Mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, unless you do the Shadowborn Apostle deck that was on the latest uh, Game Nights episode and won it, spoiler alert. Did it really? It's so sweet. There's like 26 of them in the deck. <laughs> Is that it? I would think there'd need to be more, honestly. It chained them so like you could pull them out pretty easily. It was oh, really nice. cool. Um, I gotta see it then because that sounds Yeah, it was great. really good. Uh, Josh Lee Kwai was the one that was piloting. How is it? How is um, it? How is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's really all I wanted to talk about. Yeah. Um, there are some really cool specific ones, mm -hmm. and uh, some that were definitely missing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> some of the new cards in particular, we're not going to, we will not know very well if they're going to do great. Um, Naturally. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's. I like, didn't see Totally Lost was in this. Little Homunculus. Fibble Fit. <laughs> that's how you say that. <laughs> I love Totally Lost so much. Do you really? Yes, because of the flavor and okay. Fibble Fip. Do you think it's playable and limited? Oh, yeah. Absolutely it is. That's actually pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, it sets him back kind of two turns-ish. Yes. No, that's a great card. Um, uh, and it's instant speed. Yeah. Not only is it a great card in limited, it's just the cutest card we've had in a while. Yeah. From Return to Ravnica, by the way. 
Uh, Fibblethip is just my favorite homunculus. <laughs> Way better than like Greed or Wrath or oh. whatever. Um, he's so cute. He's just got that one eye and he's super light. <laughs> I, I love that card so much. I, I love uh, Last One Standing. It's just a flavorful card as well. Choose a creature at random, then destroy the rest. No, and it that only is costs a commander three. card. That's a commander yeah, card. Yeah, it's definitely right a commander card. Oh, um, my God. And it's just like Chaos deck or something. That's amazing. Um, really just in any Wow. Deck. Yeah, that's pretty <clears> sweet. <throat> Excuse me. Uh, for Jesus. limited, Denrova Horror has always been really good, by the way. Okay, uh, tell me Apocalypse Hydra doubling season isn't broken. Yes, okay, fine. But you're relying on a mythic and a rare being in your pool. You're opening four packs, who knows? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it won't happen, but there are how many cards in this set? 254. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. I'm trying to crush your dreams a little bit. That's busted. <laughs> you open six and sealed. I like uh, Unflinching Courage. We're just rambling at this point. You guys can do what you want. Uh, unflinching Courage with Core Spirit Dancer is insane. Well, yeah, but That's so Boggle's cool. already told you that. No, I know, but it's just, I love that. I love that they put that in there. Um, yeah. We're talking about Commander, Kevin. That's what we're here for. Well. C-O-M-M-A-N-D-E-R. <laughs> Impulse is back. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Yeah, right. Um, anything else, Will? Um, send me a Fibble Fit plushie. Wizards. We should get a P.O. box. Would you guys want us to open a P.O. box? No, there's not enough of you for that. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, um, no. Anyway, <laughs> we get otter plushies. <laughs> all right, so that's you know all who we, you are. That, if you saw that. That's all we had on Battle Bond yep. for today. Um, just kind of to recap, just like tying the end of Battle Bond for us, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, all in all, going to be a really fun time, I think, playing it. Uh, it's got some great cards in it, just to open, that adds value to the rest of the set after you're done opening these, because you're not going to be able to use the majority of these anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of just fun to be able to crack them, right? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Um, I, I definitely think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's very unique, and the reprints are great, so yeah. I'm in a good place. Keep telling us about Battle Bond, what you think, how you feel, what you're worried about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask this, not as a question of the week, but just to get you guys thinking for next week, homework. or the following week after next week. Um, what do you guys want to see us do to celebrate our 100th episode? Because as I'm you guys not, know, this is, 96. this is 96. We're only a few away. Um, oh man. The, should we, we don't really have any we major got, ideas. We have that one. It's not. But it's not that good. Um, it, you know what I think it's gonna be? What? It could be fun. It could be fun. Um, but I think it's going to turn out like the set review episode we did. Oh, yeah. Where we're <laughs> like, we went through white and it was fine. But then we got to green. And we were like, that's a card. Uh, <laughs> Dex will play it. There's yeah, I don't want to do that again. It needs to be fun. Here's a new mythic. That's... All right. Uh, tune in next week where yeah. we do something more interesting. It was four... Three hours? It was like over three hours. <laughs> was... Why did we do that? Set reviews, are, those are good ideas. Those are awesome. I like but watching them. Some I liked... people break them up. No, we should have. Yeah, we definitely should have. We, we could have taken like an after. We should have taken breaks. <laughs> yeah, fifteen minute break and then come back. <laughs> we did it live though, didn't we? We streamed it. Oh, I hope we didn't. All right, we uh, did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, moving on to our crack packs. But no, do tell us. Do tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do tell yeah. us what you want to see. But what you want to uh, see. Uh, and we will ask on Instagram at some point. But um, yeah. Yeah. Moving to our crack of packs, sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Link is in the description. Go check them out. Will, what is your gold card? It is the Steel Leaf Champion. Watch me get it. Nope. Uh, mine is, uh, what is it? Squee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get Squee, but I definitely got yeah. a really good card. Uh, who's, oh, Lyra Dawnbringer. Sold. Yeah, that's my card. I'm not looking at the rest of the pack. Yeah, <laughs> There's too. no reason to. Um, I got Thran Temporal Gateway, which is not bad. Oh, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm trying to... Th I don't know if it's... Nah, I was thinking of it for Constructs. It's not yeah. good. It wouldn't be good in Constructs, because everything else just gets cheaper. Anyway, um, it's not... Definitely not the pick. Hmm, maybe... <laughs> Uh, it might be Chainer's Torment. 
I like Shiv and Fire. Um, I think it, you got it in the pack. I mean, it's just removal, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It hits a lot in this set because there's a lot of tokens. It's shock, right? Mm -hmm. Like, at worst, it's shock. I don't like it for uh, for picking though. That's fair. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Chainer's Torment is, like, it's a pretty decent card, <laughs> only because it gives you a big old fatty. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of scary to play, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is a weird one. Uh, maybe Thalid Soothsayer as an engine. Sack a creature, draw a card. That's fair. Pick one, I don't like it, though. No, I don't either. This is a weird pack. Um, it is really odd. You can take a Flight, or whatever it is. Arcane Flight. Oh, that's actually not terrible. Not it's again, not very not good and limited, point. I don't think. <laughs> no, that's the only place you play it. Yeah, that's my point. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe call the cavalry, dude. I don't know. Not a very. I'm gonna ask for a new pack. <laughs> okay, that's all. mine's good. I got Lyra. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty I, happy no, with I'd that. take I'd take Chainer's Torment because it Fair gives enough. you a big bomb. Um, cool. Anyway, limited is hard. So. <laughs> Close it out, Kev. Guys, thank talking. you so much for watching this episode of It Resolves. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that you guys are excited for Battle Bond. If you like this episode, make sure to like and comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our excellent wink wink content. Hey! Uh, we are going to get out of here, though, guys. We hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves. And this has been It Resolves.